Why are you trying to create something new and original? Please just stick with your old tricks and tips content and never progress. So today's video is about pro tricks and we're gonna start it from overpass. See how Alex pushes short, he sneaks in and then kinda holds this semi-aggressive angle here. Enemy comes out from the tube, looks the other way and Alex gets a pretty easy kill. Now how Vitality did it and why enemy didn't look at Alex? Because Alex and Apex pulled off a nice little bait play. As we look at Apex's POV, we see that he's loud as possible while jump spotting short, plus he even shoots to grab all the attention when an enemy gets close. Let's have a look at the victim's POV as well to see how effective this move can be. As expected, they can clearly hear the jump spotting, especially when they're getting close to B short water area. Of course, 10 pros tried to pre-aim this boost position, but this time Vitality was one step ahead. Next up, easy yet not so common move from Fnatic. We are on Inferno, and I bet most of you didn't know a way to go silently to Balcony. It's possible only with the help of your teammate. In this case, Krim stands on the very edge of this barrel and helps Brolan to get to the Balcony. Unfortunately, they need two tries and give up a sound cue while falling down the first time, but in ideal situation, you can pretty much boost four guys up there without making any noise. This could literally be your future eco round. Why not to try it out? I'm sure some of you see this for the very first time, so I put this move in here. Art Legion has a plan to run boost speed 4k to the right side of the monster, so if enemy holds monster, they think no one can be right side, because they haven't seen anyone. But this run boost method stays out from their vision. This time, situation pans out differently, they run boost, but Yampi is already closer than expected. Speed just has to rely on his raw aim to now try to resolve the situation. But the knowledge cookie to take with you from this clip is that when you would successfully run boost like that, enemies just can't see you going to the other side of monster. I have shown you this idea once, but sometimes once is not enough. Old Renegade's new 100 Thieves has done it again. Thus two B tunnels. When you smoke them off like that, they like to build this 3 man tower here, with satisfaction on the top. And if you give this guy an opportunity, he usually takes those. Amazing entry kill to a moving opponent. After they get an entry frag, it's very logical to use the free room and push to the bomb site. This is how they roll, and it all started out from a nice three man tower. Simple as that. Inferno, MIBR against NIP and we're looking at Fallen's POV. They are thinking about retaking a bomb site and he throws one interesting piece of utility here. He lines himself up with the shadow, aims like shown, runs till he almost hits the bottom corner of this wooden triangle and jump throws the molly. It will bounce off from the skybox and burn down graveyard. Of course it won't cover all graveyard area as in this particular case Plopski can still stay in the sneaky corner but it gets the common slash annoying behind the wall position which is a very powerful spot where enemy could jiggle and distract you. This was Fallen's intention to hopefully get someone out from there but unfortunately for him no one was there. Still a nice try and a great molotov. Once again overpass and two easy lineups from Alex. Position at the first stair step, aim in the corner and jump throw. This is a smoke for meat banana aka short. Then he runs up from the stairs and lines up a molotov for three. He backs himself into the wall corner, then aims like shown, go just up from the three wall position and get the height from the ceiling. At the end wall throw. He just runs the first meters so he can do it quicker. This is how it should look like if you nail it. Molotov lands close to 3, baiting those sneaky campers out from their position. I went to an offline server myself as well, I slightly modified the lineups, but it's all up to your personal preference. Just make sure they are working, and make sure you're practicing those lineups before hopping into your important matches. Super general. It's a rare case when I can say that tier 1 pro did something wrong, but here's one example from Crims. He's working his way up to A apps, throws a molotov, and now look at this wallbang line. Pretty sneaky and actually it's a unique idea, but it's not working with AK-47. Sadly, AK does nothing here. It works with AWP and Deagle for example. Don't get me wrong here, it's a cool wallbang line and I really like it, but it's for sure Crims didn't know that AK does nothing here. Otherwise, he wouldn't waste his bullets for a wallbang that doesn't work. 
Overpass, 400 IQ info play from AZ. In the very beginning of the round, some teams like to go fishing with this 4-man tower here, but just have a look what tricks AZ has in his sleeves. This is an epic idea to spot if enemy team is doing the boost or not, and if he sees the tower, he can immediately call for enemy's exact location. I wonder why City side didn't push or adjust their defensive setup right away, but they probably believe that their setup in B water is already good enough. Anyways, insane info gathered by AZ. Awareness level 99 for sure. Next up Inferno, and a simple smoke from Chopper is to let your teammates get aggressive on Banana. He backs himself into this corner and aims at the antenna cross. Left click throw. Smoke bounces a couple of times and lands close to car, to ruin all enemy side molotovs. It also leaves gap for your teammates to peek, so a nice little smoke to know to support your teammates with. Mir uses it well, gets to the car position and take out banana control with ease. Feel free to try out this move in your own games. Another move from Inferno. This is just a genius play by force. 2 vs 2 situation. T side know that 2 CTs are most likely coming from CT. Cherry is in close position to surprise them. So Xepower drops the bomb to imaginary teammate to fake that both T's are close to the bomb site. This will get CTs moving and only worrying about the left side, while Cherry peeks out and finishes the round. A perfect 500 IQ play by force. We're gonna continue with the same map, but idea for a pit. Behind the wall defenders in pit often smoke their position to keep it clean from the molotov fire. But if you have a great timing, you can throw the same bait smoke from the balcony for example. You just have to do it early enough so enemy team doesn't see it. Electronic reads that enemy might soon be pushing to the bomb site. He throws this simple lined up bait smoke to make enemies believe he's defending from pit. But he actually stays up in the balcony. Nice mind games. Next up, idea from Alex's POV and thanks to Proximax for sending me this. It's their pistol around jungle smoke from deep T side mid. Get stuck right here and aim at this building corner. If you're ready, then jump throw. As always, all those jump throws are for sure working for 128 tick servers. For matchmaking, you might need to do slight adjustments. They combine this jungle smoke with a top con smoke and use them to confuse the enemy and win some extra room to work around the map. Probably the freshest moment in this video, it happened only a couple of days ago on Dust 2. FaZe just used a very cool B setup here, where Procky and Cold Sera both played it from car. Enemies could come from middle or tunnels, doesn't really matter, one of them could hide and champ out late when first one dies, so it's a huge surprise factor, because enemy team doesn't expect two guys from the same position. In this case, Cold actually shot the first enemy as well, so if thieves would carefully listen to sounds, they should have recognized that two guys are in the car position. Vertigo, well timed molotovs from Tricked, hand and hug sandbags, aims at the left top corner of this black thingy, and double click throws. It means you have to release left and right mouse click at the very same time. His teammate throws just a feeling molotov from the other side and it creates a nice little sandwich that completely ruins Force's plan to eco surprise them. Just look at Team Force. They have just a couple of square meters of living space. But the teamwork just wasn't there to keep everyone alive. Life lesson, find a great co-tenant or you may have to suffer. By the way, I have some good news for you, UKCS is still alive. And we have a nice example here. Just have a look at this afterplant wallbank by Smuya. B crane placed by Smuya. In this particular case, he was lucky enough to find the headshot, but after all, it's just a great line to try with AWP because if anyone is on this catwalk, it may grant you some free damage. Of course, the best case scenario is a free kill. Welcome to Devices POV on Vertigo. Since we are close to this video's finish line, I have a huge opportunity for you. If we gather 4000 new subscribers within the next 48 hours this video goes live, I will literally do my right foot reveal on my next live stream. Definitely something to be very excited about. But here's one exciting boost that Astralis used for this middle area. Pretty sneaky if you ask me. And the similar edge idea was used for the A afterplant situation as well, to see over the smoke. Amazing Astralis strikes once again. 
Bull, Right Nuke, and one pretty old method actually, how you can spice up your outside defense. Whippy Trust Steal here, and her teamwork run boost gets Whippy quickly onto the blue box. This time he doesn't find anyone there, and don't try to stay there for long, because at one point you need to worry about two different angles. Ground plus Silo. I hope you're aware that I have two different YouTube channels, and I'm also live streaming on Twitch. And I hope you learned something new from this video. Peace out.